Today, we're going to be talking about how you can start leveraging Google to start making some more money. Welcome to Google. All of the methods that I'm going to talk about in today's video are completely free, which is honestly the best part zero upfront cost. You're pretty much gonna be able to start making money without having to put in anything as an investment or an upfront cost. So today we're gonna be covering five different ways that you can start making money with Google. Now, quick disclaimer, all of these methods are gonna require a little bit of work. Invest time. These aren't necessarily going to be passive ways to make money, but at the end of the day, if you have some spare time, you can start implementing these into your daily routine to start making a couple of extra bucks a day. So the first way that we're gonna cover when it comes to using Google to start making some money is simply by looking for different businesses on Google and offering them services through affiliate links. So hear me out on this one. Just hear me out now, hear me out. It's a little bit different than what you're used to, but it's actually pretty smart. So you can start looking for certain businesses businesses in your area and you can start calling them. For example, you can look for a photographer, you can find them on Instagram, you can give them a call, you can give them a text, whatever is easier for you and whatever is easiest for them. Remember, you're taking up their time, so be courteous, be nice, because at the end of the day, you are going to be calling them, you're going to be reaching out to them, so you're going to be taking a bit of time away from their work or from being able to talk to other clients. So make sure you're courteous when it comes to this particular hustle. But pretty much what you're going to end up doing is you're going to contact a particular business in a niche and you're going to offer them services through affiliate links. For example, when when it comes to a photographer, you can go ahead and strike up a conversation with them. You can start talking to them and eventually find out what it is that they use to be able to book clients, either that or what software they use to edit their images or whatever it may be. The whole point is to find out what softwares they're using or they're not using and offer them a solution. So for example, if a photographer doesn't really have a way to book appointments and they're just simply using something like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel to write down all of their different appointments, then you can start looking for different softwares to offer them that can facilitate the entire process process of booking appointments. So take, for example, HoneyBook. HoneyBook is pretty much an all-in-one software where you can book appointments and you can collect payment. This is something that's not only used by photographers, but it's also used by a bunch of different other industries. Now I have a family photographer that we use for pretty much everything that we need when it comes to our family portraits. She's a longtime friend and up until recently, she's just been using pen and paper or just writing down her appointments on something like Google Notes or simply just Google Sheets. Of course, you're able to do it this way, but it's not very efficient. It's it's going to take a long time. You can lose track. You're not going to be able to keep track of who's paid you. It can get very messy very quickly. So I had heard about HoneyBook in the past and I asked her, have you checked it out? You know, this can really help you out. This can help you collect payment from your different customers and it can really help you stay organized. So she started the free trial and she ultimately ended up loving it. She realized how helpful it was and she continued with either the monthly or the annual plan. I really don't remember. This was maybe about one or two years ago. And this was actually the first time that I tried making money using this method. The link that I gave her wasn't necessarily just a regular your link to the website. I gave her my affiliate link. Now it might be hard to find certain softwares that have affiliate programs, but trust me, most of them actually do. So if you find a software or service that you think could be very helpful to somebody and you want to be able to start offering it, you can start looking through their website and look for anything that has to do with an affiliate program. But here, obviously we can't really find anything. So a simple Google search did the trick. I Googled HoneyBook referral and I found here referral program, refer friends, earn cash. As you can see, if you refer somebody, they get 25% off in their first year and you can get up to $200 per person. If you do this with five different people, you already have a thousand dollars right there. Now imagine having a collection of different services and softwares that are wildly popular in certain niches or certain categories or certain businesses. Right there, you have a very lucrative business that you really only have to do once or twice. All you have to do is send these links to these people. And as long as they keep paying for the services, whether it be monthly or annually, you're going to be making a commission. Now, before we continue any further, please, if you're enjoying this so far, if you're liking these different ways of being able to make a bit of money, then make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, let's keep going. Now, the next way to make money with Google is is going to be by managing Google listings. Now, this is something that a lot of companies are missing. Most of the times, if I'm looking for something, let's say I'm looking to get a haircut, which I actually need right now, but if I'm looking to get a haircut and my usual barber isn't available, I'm going to go on Google and I'm just going to go ahead and put barbershop near me. After that, more than likely what's going to end up happening is I'm just going to stay either on the first page or maybe go to the second page of Google. Chances are that's not going to happen though. But if I don't do that, then I'm just going to go ahead and check out the different businesses on Google. This is honestly my favorite way of doing it because you actually see star ratings. Now there's going to be a lot of companies on here and there's going to be a lot of different businesses on here that have unclaimed listings. Now, before we continue any further, I'm going to give you one warning. Do not 
claim that business for yourself. Do not claim it as yours. That could potentially be illegal and you can land in some pretty hot water. So don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna reach out to the company or business and let them know that their business is unlisted or it's unclaimed on Google. In which case you can start explaining to them all of the different benefits to having a business on Google or a Google My Business listing as it used to be called and let them know how people typically use Google to be able to find their businesses. Tell them all of the advantages, how much extra money they could potentially make, how many more customers they can get simply by having a Google listing with some images, a little bit of a description, a star rating, explain to them that reviews do absolute wonders for a business and having a Google listing can really bring in more customers. Sugarcoat it for them, make it sound as pretty and as awesome as possible. Make them think that they absolutely need the Google listing. And even more importantly, make them think that you're the one that needs to manage it. Sell yourself. While this is something that could be a little bit hard to do, especially for people that don't necessarily know how to sell themselves, this could also be a pretty lucrative business because if you can get, let's say, 10 different businesses that you can start optimizing their listings, you can charge them a flat fee, maybe 100, maybe 50 or $100 just to set up their Google listing. Assuming you charge them $100 and you have 10 customers in one month, that's already $1,000 in that one month. Aside from that, you can continue working with them. You can let them know that keeping it updated is very important and you can start getting a subscription-based service for these different customers. So at that point, you're gonna make these customers into clients and you're gonna be managing their Google listings. How do you manage a Google listing? Super easy. Just write an update maybe once a week and continuously add new images. Make sure you reply back to any reviews and that's pretty much it. It might not seem like a lot to you, but to these business owners, it can either one, be very complicated, or two, just take up a lot of time that they really don't have. In which case, that's where you come in and facilitate the entire process. Up next, we have Google Opinion Rewards. Now, this is an app that you can download on both the Play Store as well as the App Store. So you can use it on an Android or you can use it on an iPhone. Now, what this is, is simply just taking surveys and getting paid for it. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. I know a lot of people say, surveys, you can't make any money from that. And those are complete and total scams. Well, I'm here to tell you that while that could be true for a few different apps or a few different websites, this one is 100% legitimate. This is directly from Google. These are surveys that Google is going to be sending you with some pretty interesting and random questions. These are some pretty fun surveys compared to some of the other ones that I've seen. And I know while there might not be a lot of money in doing these surveys, at the end of the day, it's a couple of extra bucks that you can be making in your free time. Think of it this way. You're sitting on the toilet and you're scrolling through TikTok or you're playing Candy Crush. For those five or even 10 minutes, maybe even longer, I don't know, I'm not judging, but for that time that you're in there, instead of mindlessly scrolling through TikTok or Instagram or playing a game, fill out a couple of surveys and make a couple of extra bucks. Again, I know it's not a lot, but it's something for just a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. And again, you have nothing to worry about because this is directly from Google. So this is 100% legitimate. It's legit. Like, look at the type of questions that they ask you. This is one of the examples that they have. Which of the following desserts from around the world are you familiar with? Super easy questions. Obviously, when it comes to the rewards, that can definitely vary depending on the survey that you're taking. But take, for example, if you get maybe 10 different surveys and each one of those surveys pays you $1. If it takes you one or two minutes to complete each of those surveys, then you're essentially going to be making maybe 50 cents to a dollar a minute. Now, while that doesn't really sound like a lot when you put it into the bigger perspective, it kind of is. If you're making 50 cents a minute, that means you're making about $30 an hour. If you're making a dollar a minute, you're making $60 an hour. That's definitely a lot more than your traditional job pays. Of course, you're not going to have a hundred different surveys to do every single day, but again, it's a little bit of extra income for really barely any work. Also, before we go ahead and continue, let me know down in the comments below what you think of all of the different methods we've talked about so far. We've only covered three. We have two more to go, but I want to hear your thoughts on it before we go any further. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything that you think we should know. Are there any different methods on Google we can make more money that you think we should know about? that we can start talking about to everybody else. Next up, we have using Google Trends to find out what's going to be trending. Now, you've heard me talk about Google Trends before if you're a longtime watcher of this channel. And if you are, and if you have heard me talk about it, then you know that I absolutely love Google Trends. It is a super helpful tool that honestly, a lot of people are not taking advantage of. So this is how you can start using it right now to start making a little bit of extra money. Now, really Google Trends is gonna be more than anything to give you information. This is what's gonna give you the data to find out what you need to to do or what you need to sell. So take for example, pool covers. So the moment that we search for pool covers, the first thing that we're gonna see is this graph. 
and you're going to notice that this is just information for the past day. Let's switch this over to the past five years. And now we can start to get a better idea of what point in time throughout the year pool covers are going to be highly searched for. So as you can see here, they have a few spikes and a few dips. So you have your highs and you have your lows. Now, looking back in 2018 to 2019, you can see that the low was in between December to January. This is when there was barely any people searching for it. But as you start going through the month and you look into around June to around September, this is when people really started to look for pool covers. So assuming that let's say in June, they start to become popular. You want to start selling them around February. You want to start stocking your store around February. But aside from that, taking a look at the next year, you can see around January to February, there was not really a lot of people searching for it. But then sure enough, it starts climbing around April and peaks at May right between May and June. Then it starts to go down a little bit, has a little spike up in September, but then just completely dies until January. In which case, it once again starts rising around March. Now this was in 2021, so this is probably around the time where the pandemic was hitting. So that's probably why not a lot of people were searching for it. But as you can see, there's still a trend. In this time period, it's still when it's at its highest spikes in between August to around September 11th, the end of September, and then it just keeps dipping. Now this is the same trend going on throughout the year. And more than likely, this is going to be the same trend going on for the next five years. Pool covers are something that's not really going to go out of style. It's something that's evergreen and it's something that people are always buying, especially if they just got a new pool or people that just moved into a new house that has a pool. Now, of course, this is just one example for pools. At the same time, you can start looking for other things. You can look for things like sneakers, which could be popular around Christmas time or at some point throughout the year. You can also do jewelry, which more than likely those spikes are going to be around Valentine's Day, Christmas, and pretty much any other gift giving holiday and take another summer example swimsuits swimsuits are a pretty similar trend to this one as you can see google trends is something that can really help prepare you for upcoming sales or for upcoming trends now the last and final method i'm going to give you for making money with google is by using google trends you can find what's going to be trending but using this part you can actually find the item to sell so let's say for example we want to start selling headphones we found out that in the next few months are going to be trending because christmas is right around the corner and we started looking through amazon to to see what's popular. Of course, we're not looking for things that are branded like JBL or anything that has to do with Apple. So we're looking for something a bit unique and a bit different. So right off the bat, the first thing that catches my eye is this one right here. It's got a cool little digital LED. It has good reviews and it has some pretty good sales. Over 10,000 bought in the last month. That's a lot. And this is legitimate because this is from Amazon. So let's take a look at the price. Typically it's $49.99 but it's on sale for $25.49. So I'm gonna go by the listing price of $49.99. So let's go ahead and right click. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Google Lens. So we're gonna use Google Lens to search image with Google. And here what Google is gonna do is simply just look for an image rather than text. So we're Googling images instead of Googling text or phrases. Now, as soon as we do that, we're going to have this right panel open up and we're going to have a bunch of different listings, a bunch of different images, all that are similar to this one. Well, not all of them are going to be the exact same product. That's okay because it's okay to offer a different variation as long as it's similar, in which case we can more or less mimic the price. But taking a look at this one right here, we can actually see that there's a lot of different listings. There's a lot of people online selling them and the prices are varying pretty widely. So look right here, here it shows it's on Newegg for $39.99 but that is not at all the ones that we were looking for. So let's keep scrolling. Well, here I actually found it off of AliExpress, which is, it's not the same ones, but it's similar. So let's open that up in a new tab. Okay, so I found a few different listings while I was scrolling through it, and I actually found the correct listing on Newegg. And here they're actually selling it for $57.34. So this is a pretty big price compared to what we found on Amazon for $25.49, but it's even more expensive than their listing price of $49.99. So they're selling it on Newegg at a marked up price. Then I was able to find it on AliExpress for for $25.71, currently on sale from $30.25. So selling these at the retail price of about 50 bucks, then we can make a decent profit of about $30 per each sale. Aside from that, this was another listing that I found, the one that I showed you earlier for $12.79 and retail price of $22.05. Unfortunately though, it looks like this item is no longer available. So we would have to go with the slightly more expensive version, but it's still a pretty good profit. And those are five different ways that you can start leveraging Google to start making some more money 
or five ways to start making money with Google. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button and also let me know down in the comments below what you thought of these different methods. Which one's your favorite? Which one have you tried? Is there something that we don't know about that you want to let us know? If there is, just go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.